Sorry, the story teller breed. That is my phone. Let me turn that off. Alright, there we go, that's fixed. I like how I've done that somehow twice in rapid succession. Uh, uh yes. Hi. Uh I am Bree, the storyteller Bree, and welcome to uh a really interesting let's play of Stardew Valley. This is not an ordinary game of Stardew Valley. I have modded this thing to high heaven. It, uh, let me go ahead and, uh, sorry, you're gonna see like a bit of like a flicker on the screen real quick or not? Okay. Um, but let me go ahead and read to you. <laughs> All of the different mods that I have, with the exception of the, um, of the prerequisites. Uh, but I will go ahead and have a link to the entire mod list, uh, in the description, so if you want to look at them, uh, if you want to see, like, if you're interested in any of them, if you're interested in all of them, you can go ahead and just go into the description so you can see that. I have it all split up as well, so I have it under prerequisites, aesthetics, gameplay, and then expansions. So, I don't actually have much in terms of, like, just changing different things for aesthetics. Um, I have the uh, Baby Take After Spouse mod, uh, better arts and good icons, seasonal cute characters, seasonal cute characters for Sardew Valley Expanded, and then the icon pack for, um, for Artisan Valley, because I have Artisan Valley, which is on the gameplay. Um, automation mod, Champagne Wishes, Custom Cask mod, Custom Spouse Rooms, Even More Recipes, Free Love, Fresh Meat, Fruits and Veggies, Miller Time, Mizu's Flowers, More Recipes, More Trees, Multiple Spouse Dialogues, Spouse, Spouses React to Player Death, Star Brew Valley, Stardew Valley Dialogue Expansion, and then PFM Automate, which is for, um, Artisan Valley. And then I also have, um, Always Rain in the Valley, which is an expansion of East Garp, which I have, Deep Woods, Downtown Zuzu, Garden Village, uh, the one Super Content Patcher, Vlenna, Astray in the Valley, Ridgeside Village, I also have some music for that. Then I have Stardew Valley Expanded with Grandpa's Farm and Grampleton Fields, and then I have Walk to the Desert Redux. That is a lot of mods. It's a lot. But yes. Uh, so, without further ado, let's just, let's just dive into uh, a new game. Hi! Editing Bree here, just here to give you like a quick update um, while I'm editing this. So I realized about halfway through while the game was loading that I hadn't actually talked about the configuration settings as well as content warnings for uh, some of the mods. So uh, what I'm going to do instead is I am going to put that clip in place um, right before I jump into um, character creation and intro. Um, just so that way you guys can already see that, but I'll also leave in the part of where I realized that, um, that I, uh, that I, that I remember that I hadn't talked about specific, um, configuration settings and such, just so that way it's a touch of transparency, just that way, you know, like, oh, okay, so this wasn't, like, something that was kind of, you know, just tacked on at the end just because that's needed. No, I realized that I had messed up and went uh, went right away as soon as I was able to to um, to go ahead and and fix that as soon as possible. Um, just wanted to let you know that also just that way, like, you know, like, in case you're, like, listening to it or something, all of a sudden you realize, wait a second, why is she suddenly talking about stuff, uh, it, out of order. That's why, because I moved the clip that I had recorded afterwards, like before I had actually talked about it. Okay, cool. I'll let you get back to the pre recorded nonsense. Okay, so, H on my mind, I'm going to show you what I am changing. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys don't mind. Um, again, here is, you know, all the mods I can configure at the very least. 
It's a lot. Uh, what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna go into uh, Always Rain Valley. I am turning off spicy dialogue simply because it says it's uh, possible NSFW dirty talk. I am trying my best to keep the very least uh, not monetizable, but I mean, it's not probably gonna be like. 100% family friendly, but you know, at the very least, PG to mildly PG to T. So that will be going off. Um, there was another thing that I wanted to do, but I don't remember. It was expanded, I believe. Yes. Um, I want to turn on, I think, the stronger monsters. Just to see. Just to see. Now, I do have um, the mature events for Expanded on. Um, I don't have the... What's its face? I don't have the mod description uh, up on, on my computer at the moment. Like, but essentially, I'll maybe like, try to like, pop it up on the screen as like, text or something. Um, but essentially, it was saying that there are like a small handful of events, I think going about 10 or so, of uh, events where there were um, like, where it was like themes of. Uh, I know one of them was like moral ambiguity, uh, I believe. Uh, but basically, of a kind of like more mature nature. Um, and also, uh, there are a couple. Tons of warnings for um, always raining in Mid Valley. Um, alcoholism, mild cursing, I believe, suicidal ideation. Um, but I'm going to do, if I remember to, and hopefully I do, because it's very important, is um, if I have like certain like events that I go through, because a lot of this is going to be blind. I do have the wikis up, but a good majority of this is going to be blind. Um, if there is like a particular event that I feel like might be uh, particularly triggering, um, I will go ahead and put up a timestamp probably in one of the corners um, of the screen, maybe even on the actual skip button itself. That'd be kind of fun. Um, so that way, if like you feel like uncomfortable uh, watching it, or like if like you're prepared for something like good mindset to see some of the nature, you can go ahead and skip to that. I will also try my best to also go ahead and have that be in the, um, uh, in like, you know, like, chapter section as well. Like, I'll try to split that up and I'll try to have, like, different events. I'll try to have content warnings for that in there. Just so you know ahead of time, um, that that is, uh, in Always in the Valley. If you were interested in getting that do be, do be warned of that. It is also in the mod description as well, which again is linked uh, in the in the Google Doc. Can say that for a second. Now, I, again, uh, like I so said, I do have the wikis up for Eastgarp, um, Expanded, and Ridgeside. I'm not going to be trying to um, rely on them. It's kind of more of like a like, okay, this is most likely going to be a rather complex. Uh, event, let me go ahead and look up and see, like, what exactly you need to do for that. Kind of in more of that direction, rather than, you know, checking it to see, like, oh, what is this person like? Because I want to try to figure that out as organically as possible. So, get what I'm gonna do. And, yeah, let's go ahead and jump back into the game. I'm gonna go ahead and just stop the recording, like, super quick, so that way uh, I don't have to edit out a loading screen, or at least most of it. So as tradition in these typical farming, harvest moon-esque type games, I like to name a character Rita because it's part of my name uh, because character limits were once a thing. And typically I would name my farm Delphi because that's the first farm name that I had fought off of. Uh, however, we're going to something a little bit more chaotic that reflects the nature of this somewhat. Asphodel. Still keeping up the theme, but this is a uh, very 
very chaotic farm. Can you do it because of that? Nope. If I can spell it correctly. Remixed levels, please and thank you. Remixed mine rewards, please and thank you. I'm gonna spawn monsters on the farm because I feel like it. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> uh, no multiplayer options because it's not a multiplayer. Uh, let's play. this entire time. I might actually have to look at the game itself rather than OBS a few more times, more times than necessary anyway, purely because the screen is very small. Also, because if I don't, the game takes a very long time to load, so we're watching the intro. Oh, should I be voice acting this? Let's don't know if I should be voice acting this or not. Yes, I want you to have a sealed on for me. Don't open it yet? Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Bright spirit will fade before a dwelling emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. And now we time skip. Now we're at Jojo Cole. Or actually I think it is not not co although well, Jojo Cole could work too. you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've been close deed to that place, my pride and joy, Aspidel Farm. It's like it in Stardew Valley on the Severn Coast. It's a perfect place to start your new life. 
This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Yes, Boos is still alive. Say hi to your old guy for me, will you? I will. Thank you. begun the voting oh there we go finally <laughs> that took a while You must be Bruno. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. And this is Aspidal Farm. It's, uh, it's something. It's big. I know that much. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that dust. If no dedication, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. If you say so. And here we are, your new home. Oh, hi. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, we're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. No, don't listen to her, Brenda. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow we ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in its box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. It's thinking. There we go. <laughs> oh, the downside of lots. Just waiting in the void as your game desperately tries to load. Also, I just realized well, I didn't go over specific uh, config settings that I have. And I think I also need to turn one off. So once the game loads in, I might uh, just go ahead and do that. Uh, like, I'll stop the recording as a con uh, as a config settings and then go back in, essentially, and I'll tell you what I did while we're clearing out the farm, if I remember to do that. Yep. There we go. Alright, cool. And this, this should have already saved, so I should be fine to just go ahead and just click out. So, like I said, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, um, uh, stop the recording, um, uh, fix a couple config settings, and then I will be right back. There we go, finally. Three minutes into the recording. Well, at least. It's partially voted now, but this shouldn't take as long. <laughs> there we go, for real this time. Alright, got parsnip seeds. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's something, here's now something to get you started. Here, Thank you. Let's pick 
lighter fireplace because I feel like it. Oh, uh, not quite, but I was good. Live and up the land. Welcome to Live and Up the Land. We're back again up in our tip for y'all. Well, listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for old forks to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Fortune teller. Uh, spirits feel neutral today. Uh, okay. And weather report. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow. So. Now, I did say that this was going to be blind. It's not 100% sure I do, but it's mostly I know stuff about Expanded, mostly, and I know a couple things about Ridgeside. Everything else is pretty much going to be very largely blind. Um. So, what does this mod add? A lot of people. Yes, that is 73. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna work it out for for us. Um, also, it also includes a ton. Nine, it's a, it's it's a lot. It's it's a lot of different mods. Lots of stuff. Uh, lots of recipes as well. Like look at all of these. And um, on top of that. I think I am going to try to make this as close as I can to a perfection save. Like, as in, like, a true perfection save. I am going to have my work cut out for me. This is going to be a long one, so buckle up also. Let me fix this configuration, because this is not the normal configuration that I have it in. What is this? Gross. Uh, better. Because... I don't have a sword yet, so. And we already have a letter. Hey, farmer. My name's Eloise, and my father and I live in a neighborhood called East Scarf. There's a beach and a pond and loads of berries. My dad's a vet, and you're a farmer, so I think you two will be friends. I hope we can be friends, too. You should come visit us sometimes, but not on a school day, because then I'm in class with Jazz and Vinny. Hope to see you soon. Eloise. Thank you for the letter. Alright, let's go and start clearing out some stuff. Alright, now we got some big seeds, that's good, because we're going to need them. Now remember, I did remix the community center bundles, as well as the minor rewards, so... I am going to have to keep that in mind. That not everything that I typically plant is going to be, like, what I actually need. At least for the community center, anyway. So it's not a bad idea to kind of, you know, just go ahead and just get a whole bunch of different things, I guess. Once Pierce opens, of course. Because I do have a couple uh, personal goals uh, in mind for this uh, playthrough. The first one, I think, is to complete as much of the community center as I possibly can year one. But, I mean, like, o overall goals is, of course, uh, perfection. Uh, as close as I can. I'm saying that because, um, Downtown Zuzu, one of the mods that I have in, is still in very early beta, so there's a chance I might not be able to do everything in there, uh, just because of that. I don't know I'm clearing out all this, like, other extra space. I do not need to do that. Outside of just easier access to trees, I guess. Um, another goal that I think I have is since because I'm going to have so much farming space, I am going to try to use up all of the farming space to the best of my abilities. This will also be actually kind of useful with the automation mod, honestly. Because um, I'm thinking what I want is I want this space mostly to be like sheds and maker machines and stuff because we actually have quite a lot of stuff. This is all mostly um, artisan value. Like we have, what do we have? We have, we have a grinder, uh, which is for various goods and spices, an ice cream machine, a juicer, a pepper blender, a smoker, a soap press, an express machine, an extruder, corn cask, a sorbet machine, 
a vinegar cask, a wax barrel, a yogurt jar, a canning machine, a DNA synthesizer, and a meat press. And that's just what you start out with. Oh, and also wine yeast and red yeast. And again, that's just what you start out with. You, because I have seen um, at least one Let's Play, like, like a touch of a Let's Play, um, on on Artisan Valley, and you do get more things through um, various means. So, oh, good, I can make chest exits. But I was most chopping wood for. Let me just get these last couple pieces because wood is going to be very very important in this game. Recent this playthrough. Go ahead, pop it down. Swap right there. He's in. And I guess the cipher does so I don't necessarily need that. Let's go ahead and plant at the very least our 15 parsnips and the four wild seeds. We already got a piece of clay. That's good. One, two, three, four, five. It's a very haphazard setup. I do apologize for that. One, two, three. Go ahead and start planting. Oops. Oh, I put down way too many tunnels. Oh, well, it's fine. See, because we also got most of we just parts it. Wow. That is an awful pull. We got, what, three parsnips and a cauliflower, I think? Yikes, that's not great for a, uh... No, it's fine, some of them will have to be sacrificed to crows. It's okay, because they're probably not going to be good quality, most likely. Oh, and I am running out of energy, which is not good, because I was going to buy more seeds and hopefully plant them. I can't do that if I'm out of energy. Let's put that Go into town, see if we can meet people because we have a lot to a lot of people to meet, so. Oh right, I forgot about this cutscene. Sheesh, Lenny, not too loud though. Just someone heard you. They might find out about me and I chill, Lulu, no one cares. Anyway, I gotta go. So got lots of paperwork, the friendly sound we have all that, by the way. Stop calling me that, and it's your own fault for procrastinating all the time. No can do, Woo Woo. It's my right as your big sister. Anyways, gotta go. Gotta catch the cable car before it fills up. Take care now. Hi. Britta? Oh, uh, nice seeing you. So, how much of that did you hear? Uh, plenty. Lenny. Now that was Lenny, my older sister. She came by to give me Ridgeside Village's financial report from last year. Ridgeside Village? Oh, your grandpa never told you? They're our neighbors in the mountains to the west. You can use the cable car to head up there if you'd like to visit. That cable car is a marvel of engineering. Who knows how they paid for it? I did hear that someone in the village has close ties to the governor. Anyway, do go visit when you have the time. Perhaps the tourism revenue gives a pelican town, you know? Sounds nice. We'll have to do that at some point. I better get back to town. Goodbye now, Brita. Thank you. Cool. Ridside Village, huh? I should visit it sometime soon. I should. There's people there. Lots of people. Oh, hi. Look, more people. Hello. Let me introduce you. Let me introduce myself. Hi. Ken. You're the new resident of the valley? Lenny said you'd like to stop by. Nice to meet you. I'm Ken of Ridgeheads Village's own electrician. Hope you're doing well. I am. Ken, come back here. Come back here. Sam, please. There we go. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Hi. Oh, I haven't seen you here before. Well, hello. My name's Lena. You are? Miss Berta, is it? Well, I hope you have a prosperous life here in this town. She's a, such a precious bean. I really like her already. Oh, there we go. Well, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to 
uh, movie favorite of Springs. I'm not trying to do like a whole bunch of voice acting purely because I, again, you have to meet 73 people. I know there are people who come in later, later on. There's gonna be a lot more than 73 people in this town. I am not voice acting and giving them unique voices to all of them. That's just not going to happen. It, also, too, the guys are just gonna like alternate between like, three different voice banks because that's all I can do. I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> hi, Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Nice to meet you. Anyway, let's maybe try to buy some seeds uh, while I'm thinking about it. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You're new here, aren't you? Name's Sterling. I moved here not too long ago myself. Maybe it'll be night. Maybe it'll give us something to talk about over some beers. First one's on me, alright? See you around. Thank you, Sterling. Hey, Abby. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving onto that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Hello, you must be Britta, the new farmer. I'm Carolyn. My husband runs general store here. Have you met my daughter Abigail? She's a pal with purple hair. You know, they're right... They're right there, Caroline. To be fair, I'm sure that, like, the sound doesn't travel too well in here, but... They're right there. <laughs> nope, sorry, Leah. Didn't mean to push me. Hello, Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Bird, new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is a place to go. I also buy bread from you for a good price. I am... Sorry, I'm not, I'm not... No, agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. I'm not selling stuff directly to you, my dude. I am sorry. And what do we have? Oh, what do we have? So, because of the fact that I... Shut up. <laughs> So because of the fact that I have um, Garden Village, it's most likely that a lot of the newer stuff isn't going to show up in Pierre's shop because it's all going to be in the Garden Village shop. Thing is, the way there is covered with monsters, and I do currently do not have a sword. So we're going to wait on that, but in the meantime, uh, what do I want to get? I'll get some tulips. Tulips sound good. Maybe some kale because kale is a good money crop. And maybe some potatoes. And can I buy something for 10 gold? No? Okay, that's fine. Alright, cool. I did not mean to actually. They're just the default. Abby, please move. I need you to move faster. Thank you. Alright, cool. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Thank you. Oh, right, let me go say hi to George, because, uh, so I had a playthrough originally that was purely just, um, Alex is in terms I can't talk to him. That was purely just Ridgeside and Expanded. And in my playthrough, the, I'm pretty sure the last person that I needed to talk to was George, out of all the characters. So... Dare to even have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. do will buzz off. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Also, we also have to come over here. Pet the dog. All right. So let's see. Sure, close we can meet at this time. We also really well actually have like no energy. Should have tried plenty more stuff. Because we also have no money. But we can go over here. Uh, this is late game stuff, don't worry about it. Uh, it's not uh, relevant at this point. Wild horse radish. Ooh, kind of weak. Oh, okay, thank you. And if we cross this bridge over here. We end up in a new area. This is Eastgar, in case you were wondering. It 
it's very pretty here and I don't really like it. Oh, hello. Oh, What's in here? Hi. Oh. Oh, well, okay. Uh, this is Mia, I believe her name is. Um. Unfortunately, I was not able to actually talk to her. That's a shame. What is this? Oh, Scarf Inn. Interesting. Let's go. Oh, and I immediately have a cutscene. You scared me. Now look what you now look what I've done. Oops, sorry. I'm sorry. Me too. I didn't realize anyone else is here. Thanks for being nice about it. Oh, look at this mess. I hope you didn't get sprayed by any melon juice. I don't think I did. Oh, that's a relief. The name's Rosa, by the way. I'm from Fort Rosa. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Rosa from Rosa. My parents had a weird sense of humor. I'm working here temporarily. She's pretty. The owners of the inn are away for all, so I'm keeping an eye on it. Maybe if I'm lucky, we'll even get some guests. Yeah, that would be nice. As you can probably smell, I enjoy baking, and this place has a great kitchen. So if you ever find yourself in need of baked goods or coffee, I'll be selling them at the counter. Feel free to stop by. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, I'd better get this messed up melon in the bin. Don't be a stranger. What did you say your name was again? It's Okay, don't be a stranger, Brenda. She's nice. Can we can we date her? Can we marry her? We're gonna have bread, coffee, cookie, and poppy seed. I'm betting that selection probably changes as well. Hi, I'm Rosa. I'm doing town. Let me know if you need any uh, work going. I'm up for any odd jobs. Thank you. Oh, keep that in mind. Oh, so I. Yes, this is most likely related to a quest of some kind. Sunday Trunt Soup, Tuesday Crispy Bass and Cookies. This is a very neatly important menu. Interesting. I'm assuming that is like a quest slash progression thing. Huh. Apparently the door to the side of the inn is locked. Okay. Oh, the family has not moved in yet. Okay. Yeah, so I'm assuming that as, like, we go along, this will develop and grow and change. Hello, you're a new person. 18. Good day. I don't believe we've been introduced. You are a new farmer? Well, you must certainly look the part. I am 18. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yours as well. There are some wine carts over here, too, so at some point we can even, uh, even take shortcuts over here. Hi, I'm Eloise Beacon Kami. Ellie, if you like. You're the new farmer, right? I am. And you were the one who sent me that letter. Oh yeah, this is like a quarry. I believe. There's a grave up here? Here is Delilah, taken too soon, forever in her heart. It looks well tended. Oh no. Have to figure out who uh, Delilah was, I suppose. Oh, also, do you guys, you guys want to see something? Did some see something very funny? It's not actually the way towards it. I don't know where this goes, actually. Where does this go? This is not the way that I went before. Princess Midnight? Huh? Oh, oh, it's a cat. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. It's a perfect cat. Check it. Hello, Berta. I don't even suppose you've seen a small black cat, have you? She's run away, and I don't like her wandering outside at night, not to fall deep. Hold on, excuse me, I am getting a phone call. I think my partner's home. Okay, I'm back. Uh, no, my partner is on his way home. <laughs> okay, anyway. She's run away, and I don't like her wandering outside at night. Well, not if all these crabs are around. It's not good. Hopefully she'll show herself soon. Yes. Have you been up here before, Frodo? No. I don't know what this is. It was called Mountain Meadow Farm and grew produce for the miners. There was talk of turning it into a memorial garden, but nothing ever came of it. Interesting. And that's a pity. There's good soil here under all this debris. 
cat has been spotted. Hello. There you are. Kitty. Black cats are so pretty. Anyway. So, is this... Is this farmable land? Is this all farmable land? Oh no, I might have made a mistake with my I'm going to try to use all the farm space to my advantage, uh quote. And I don't have anything. Uh, I didn't bring my sickle. It's a mistake. There's a house up here? The door is locked. Okay, makes sense. What's up here? It's not what I was gonna show you guys. I was gonna show you guys you can actually sequence break with East Scarp. Um so you can just sort of just get into the mines. Uh for a, for a shortcut. I want to get up there, but I don't want to use energy because I don't have much. Um, 16, I think I should be fine. It's just... I'm starting to feel exhausted, but it's not good. Go down here. Here. And then over here. I'm not going to remember this. Uh, okay. I can't use any more energy. What is this? Eh? Uh, I'm not going to touch those. I don't think they're friendly. Uh, okay. So is this like a, is this a dungeon area? Ooh, that's interesting if it is. Sadly, I do not have a sword or anything I can do to protect me. It doesn't use up a ton of energy, so I will keep this in mind. There might be potentially a new dungeon area up here. Okay, nice. I didn't realize that. Anyway. Ooh, there's hardwood stumps, sand. It looks like this connect- oh, that's cool! So you can actually see where this connects to the quarry at. Oh no, there's worms! Wait, hold on, I have a leak. Here, I'll just... I'll sacrifice a leak. It's fine. It's part of sake. Potentially an artifact. Hopefully it's an artifact, not like clay. It's coal! Okay, that's actually even better. Never mind. Let's go. Alright, sweet. So, that's this thing. Um, I believe if you go down... If, if you have, um, Grappleton, uh, fields, and if, I believe if you go down, like, a certain path, this is not the path, I don't know where I'm, this place is big, oh, there's the lighthouse, okay. Um, so this is part of a mod. It's part of an additional mod, um, however, I believe it's no longer, like, uh, I forget if it's like either like no longer being worked on or if it's um just like not uh being updated anymore. Uh but I didn't install it for that reason. So yeah. In remembrance of the miners buried here on this day, summer fifteen, when you gaze upon these mountains, remember he, those we lost within held forever in our hearts. Huh. So I bet summer 15 is probably going to be a holiday for East Scarped then, in that case. I need to get home because... Uh, I do not have... Anyway, let me, like, last second show you what I am talking about. So, if you go up this way, and then you just go up these stairs, it takes you up to the area near the bridge, where the quarry is. <gasps> no! No way! Isn't that an iridium? Isn't that an iridium rock? Okay, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. I don't know if I can rush, uh... Oh, hello! I have an event with, with, with cats! Multiple cats! The cats are talking. Oh, okay. This music is weird. I like it. Hello. Okay. Uh. 
that was a thing. The cats. They talk to each other. And we do not know what this what conspiracies they whisper of. But they whisper conspiracies nonetheless. Anyway, let's let's, let's go home. Because it is late. And I have some pretty wallpaper to put up. Oh, hey Sterling. Oh, hey Morris. I guess I have to talk to you, huh? Oh, it's Farmer Brother. Welcome to the valley. My name is Morris, manager of Jojo Mart. If you need cheap quality seeds, there's no better place than Jojo Mart. I went to Water Pierre's store. Jojo's seeds are much better than his. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, my dude. I'll, I'll leave you be. Okay, so I guess we'll go ahead and just plant all of the stuff tomorrow. Because I, once again, have no energy, so... Yeah. It's fine. We're fine. Let's just keep the mushroom. Pretty. I like that. That's cute. I kind of want a darker foray, uh, foray at some point. Possibly to match that, but you know. That is the end of the first day. Jeez. Alright, give me a sec. I'm going to just stop the recording real quick and we'll be right back. And we are back. Alright, let's see. Oh, hold on. I need to actually click into the into the game. Oh, I'm not on the game. I was in OBS. I am a fool. <laughs> Alright. What do we have? Spirits of Area displays. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, weather report. It's going to rain because that, I believe, is scripted. I believe it always rains on this third day. Oh, butter. Just got back from a fishing trip. Should come down to the beach sometime. We got something for you. Sweet. And we got our fishing rod. Which is great because, um, I feel like I am in the minority of people uh, who play Sardu because I really like the fishing in this game. I really like it. I think it's fun. Um, oops, we've got some coke. That's always useful because we are going to need that for a silo later on. Let me go ahead and plant some stuff. I'm gonna plant potatoes. And tulips. And a kale. Let's get to watering. again. Anyway, hi, I'm back. Also, my partner is here. <laughs> so if you hear, like, anything in the background, it's probably him. Anyway, uh, was it doing? Put it away just quick. And go going down to the beach to get my fishing rod. So that's very important, because I don't want a repeat of what happened in my first while. Hi, Martin. Hey, Derek, you don't, you don't, you don't, you're that new owner of Asphodel Farm. My manager held a meeting about you. I work part-time at Chojo Mart. Alright, forget what I said about that meeting. You get me in trouble. Yeah, yeah, I probably don't want to say that. Anyway, speaking of the Chojo Mart uh, members, because I don't think I actually ever finished uh, outlining what my goals were for the very least the first year. So I want to get as much of the community center as I can done within the first year. And on top of that, I also want to go ahead and I want to try to prevent Claire, uh, who works at Jojo Mart for, uh, Expanded. It is very important that I do that because she does not come in on, like, days off. 
she will only- I- I don't know if you can, like, completely softwalk yourself out of it, but I do know that it is important for you to, like, befriend her. I think you have to befriend her pretty high up as well. So I will probably be trying to make that a priority. Anyway, hey, you're a new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you, Alex. Now see you around. Yep, also, I just saw Shane. There, there Shane. Hi. Hi, let me, let me talk to you so you can ignore me. I don't know you. Are you talking to me? Yeah, same. Uh, oh, right, I forgot tomorrow. Oh, it's Savannah's birthday tomorrow. I don't know what she likes. Probably just like flowers and stuff, but anyway. Uh, looks like it's also Boris's birthday today, but I do not care. Nothing is posted on the bell for Let's go down to the beach. Because I don't want to repeat on my personal save where the only day that it rained in spring was the third, and I could not catch a catfish. Because that was very painful. Hi there, miss. Heard there's a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. I'm still trying to divine for mump out in salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Found we saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, why don't you have my old fishing rod? It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe I'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Thank you. Behold our main uh, method of income for a good while. There's, uh, there's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. We'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. That's what my old pappy used to say, anyway. Fishing. And fishing is exactly what we are going to do. I sold my water and came on. I did not mean to- Ooh! Hey, leather. I found a crop shell. And we'll take an oyster and a clam, because the oysters and clams are important for the community center if I have the crab pot bundle. So I don't know that yet. Not quite the right direction, but okay, it's fine. Sardine. Not bad. I think I'm going to try to fish until I get to maybe... Per Hopefully I'll get to about uh, fishing level 1. Um, and hopefully that will be fine. Because, uh, again, I want to try to catch the catfish for the uh, fishing bundle. So that's very important. Some seaweed. That's good for fish bonds, but we don't need that for a while. I was also debating, like, what exactly I wanted to do in terms of different skills. Like, nice. Obviously, of course, um, for fishing, I'm probably going to go for, uh, my typical, uh, the one with the buff that allows you to, um, sell fish at a higher price and then maybe also treasure hunter, I think it is. Um, at least for that. Uh, farming, obviously, artisan, especially if artisan valley, because that will give me a lot more, uh, profits, which is important later on. Especially if I'm going to try to go for protection because I need to get the obelisks, and obelisks are expensive. Um, but I'm not entirely sure of what I want to go for for foraging. I kind- I'm very much torn between- oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm kind of torn on foraging because I'm not sure if I want to do my typical, um, 
gatherer and then the uh, um all uh porridge bowls are iridium quality because i like because on one hand that would be great if for example if i had something like the um what's its face the uh i think it's called the forger's bundle i think i got that in my personal save it's a bit of a pain because I didn't realize and I unlocked the bulletin board, like, I think right after salmon berry season. Which was not fun. But also, on the other hand, too, I, I don't know what the other perk is that you get for uh, level 10. If you go- ooh, I want that chest. Um, if you go the, uh, what's its face? The, um, the foresting path? Because I don't remember exactly what that is, but I do know that the other one is, um, is I believe you get a chance to get part of- ooh, two copper ore, that's useful. Um, uh, there's a chance for you to get hardwood when chopping normal wood, which is actually really good. But I don't know if I want to go for that or not, honestly. I guess I'll just see like how I feel um, about like different bundles I have, if I feel like uh, I need to kind of prioritize wood over uh, just regular forageables, but also that's also very useful, um, the iridium quality forageables one, because we're gonna be getting a lot more fo more forageables, and also on top of that, we're gonna need a lot of inventory space, so, and we inventory space, so speaking of, um, next, I'll see, we let's go up here, alright. Oh, hi, you're new. Hello, my name's Carmen. If you need any fishing stuff, I have your back. Thank you, Carmen. That's what we might open today. I thought it was a oh, oh no, yes, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just sell these. Nice. I do like to measure the pounds of seaweeds. That's good. Um, seaweeds, however, I need to keep that in mind if I am um, once again too good. True perfection. Can I pick up a plan? And I think we'll do some river fishing now because I feel like it. I've all been expecting, and whose arrival sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot, I live in the milk cabin by beach. It's a pleasure to It's nice to meet you too, Elliot. Let's go this way. There she is! Hi, Sophia. Oh, stranger. Wait, aren't you Britta, the new farmer? Sorry, I get a little nervous on people I haven't met before. My name is Sophia, I'm the owner of Blue Moon Vineyard. Well, I guess I'll see you around, I guess. Yeah. Sophia's really nice. I like her. I think she's very much considered the best girl of Expanded, so... It's probably to be expected. Let's see, what else can we do? Can we find spring onions? Um, 
No, it doesn't feel like it's like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is yes. Oh. It's fine. We'll just say hello to him later on. How many people have we met in actually? It's 24. It's actually not bad. We just have, what, like 49 more to go? Oh, there's Andy. Wait, look at that. It's a new farm Irvin's been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. I've been working for a haven farm here for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. You're lucky you got that free property from your grandpa. And he likes it so much. Honestly. Let's just go exploring. I know where that goes. It's very... Not dark, but... It's just... I can very easily get lost and I do not really get lost right now. Also, I have nothing to really do stuff with, so... That alone. I have no inventory space with it, I'm trying to say. There we go, that's the word. Uh, no, Barney's at home because it's Tuesday. That's not the right tool. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna need to go and pick it up in a second. Let me just pick. Right here. Uh, I'll sell the conch, I suppose. And that's it. Because I want to keep these for the community center. They're not hard fish to catch, but I do want to just keep them just in case I need them. Also, I can put that away because I don't need it right now. Let's go pick up that stone. Also, that geo that we got. There we go. Let's see, found a geo. The local box, we can break it open for you. Who knows? I can like maybe put it inside. Oh, yeah, indeed. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited for that. Can we ask if I can piece of that green to see it? There we go. Okay, so we can go ahead and put that away. And then, what else do we find the day? I guess we can go down to the saloon because there's bound to be people in there. And we can go introduce ourselves to even more people. That is very, very important. Oh, are we getting our cutscene? Here we're getting our cutscene. Pizza dinner. What's up, Freda? Sorry about that. Hi. Good to see if anyone knows me, Sterling. I might have had a few too many. Chan and I are playing a drinking game and watching Clint, and doesn't exactly like being done up. Maybe you should play with us one of these nights. We'll cash in those drinks I owe you. I would I would I wouldn't we uh leave you wanting. Uh uh, I don't know if I could do that drunk. Yeah, maybe not to smash boots, though. I work early tomorrow. Guess I should head home before Mia drags my ass back. Good night, Britta. Oh, could you not tell Gus about that mess? Thanks, Farmer. Yeah, I will. Uh, that'll be nice. Up, that's Carmen again, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hi, Penny. I don't think I've said hi to you yet. Oh, hi. I'm Penny. And that's Clint over there. Let me go ahead and introduce myself. Hello. Hi, I'm Clint. Nice to meet you, Clint. That's the dog. It's 
going to the sewer. See, who else is here? People, people. No, I mean, people we haven't met yet. Hey, kid. Name's Pam. Oh, hello there. You got shut the hell out of the Star Drop sewer. I had to pick up some gunk from my trash this morning, banged it up, and called it a day. It happens more often than you think. Yeah, yeah, it seems like it. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican okay, Town. If you're looking for something to do in the evening, stop by to swim. That's where you work, you know, the, the place we're in right now. Yeah? Okay. That's what. Hello. There we go. Hi. Your new farm just moved in, right? I'm Ian. It's good to meet you. I live over in Richside Village. Generally, I just work for whoever asks and, and can pay a good fee. That can include you, of course. Yeah, so I believe he runs a, um, like an odd jobs kind of shop, and you can kind of, like, hire him, uh, for a fee to, like, uh, you know, I think it's, like, pet, um, animals, I think fix fences, I think, is one of them as well. Um, uh, different stuff like that, so. I don't know if I'll, oh, here, what are you, huh? Is that a normal thing that Pierre does? Oh, of course Sterling shows up to work on over again. I swear to you, but why do I put up with this? Huh, interesting. I didn't think there was, like, additional dialogue for that. To be fair, I'm pretty sure I was meant to kind of, you know, get that tomorrow when I actually talk to people. You know, in the morning, most likely. Anyway, we have a long rainy day ahead of us where I am going to try my best to catch a catfish, so let's go ahead and call it here, I think. I don't think there's anything I necessarily want or need to do. I mean, not to just fucking go forward for along the way. Um, we can also just like, go over here and do some- oh, wow, oh, there's a ton of stuff over here, okay. Oh, so much for going over here, uh, because I have no energy, so. Uh, that is the way towards, um, uh, Garden Village, I believe. So there's also monsters over there, so you just be careful to get up. There's a slime right there. Just, nope. I can't deal with you right now. And we'll go to bed. Yep, let's level one fishing. And that's it. I'm sitting around from the con shop. Not bad, 150. Well, anyway. I think that I am going to go ahead and call it here for now. Um, just because I have been recording for a bit. Actually, no, it's only been about 20 minutes. Uh, that means it is rather late. Um... I think we'll go ahead and just call this recording session right here. We have to get search in. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so if if you like this or if you want to see more of it, uh, feel free to uh, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, comment on it, like uh, like non spoilery uh, tips and tricks and stuff like that. Like if like there's like anyone that you also maybe want to like see me like friends, see me marry. I do have the free love mod in, so I can marry multiple people. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people, so, you know, there's a lot of people, so feel free to, uh, as I am interested in this as well, because they just say unavailable? So, is that maybe gonna be like a patch? Not patch, like an update, potentially, for Ridgeside, that these I forget their names. I, I forget names, honestly. Or maybe I have to, like, trigger a civic event and then they can maybe become marriage candidates? I'm not sure. I know that I do want to do her. Because I was looking to, uh, potentially, uh, uh, marry her in my personal file of, uh, Just Ridge Side and Expanded. Um, I do like her as well. She's nice, too. Um, any people we've met that I think are interesting, that I want to, like, potentially befriend? 
Oh, Dean seems interesting. And Stir- I- I want to know- I just want to know more about Sterling. And Wanda seems interesting. I'm- I'm curious about everyone, honestly. But yeah, um, yeah, like, but let me- let me know stuff, uh, in- in the comments and also help the algorithm, man. I'll see you later. Bye.